Subscribe to the McHenry Man Show on YouTube. A, a, a penguin classic to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> as presented by the Come Town players from memory. The Come Town players and pimps. Oh, oh damn. damn. Somebody's got to be. I wish we had like a Foley board. I wish I had a complete Foley board so I could do radio play. You should just get one, dude. Yeah. Who cares? Just like footsteps in a yeah. big hallway. <laughs> Well, another day being a lawyer, another day to go home to my child, sport, and the other one, Pringus or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Pringus whatever, and sport. Whatever the yeah. fuck another one is. Just another day here in 1940s fucking Mississippi or wherever. Getting it is. guilty uh, black people off. <laughs> That's the door. I'm using a door. <laughs> and now... Clunk, and that's me getting into my car. <laughs> you are just joining us. You're listening to the radio play of To Kill a Mockingbird. It's presented by memory on NPR. Uh, <laughs> I'm driving home. Thank you, Stavros. <laughs> when I drive home, I like to think about how racist things are in the South, where I live. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everything's in black and white, oh. and it's it's fall now. <laughs> it's fall in the south, and the thing is, the south is hot, but the leaves. <laughs> and I've run over a black person accidentally, <laughs> <laughs> and now, woo, here come the police, and they're like, "Oh, uh, we saw you run over that colored fellow back there," and. Uh, we were about to arrest you for murder, but I didn't realize your your famous lawyer, Atticus Finch. <laughs> oh, please, I beg of you, you have to arrest me. You've got to arrest me. You have me. to arrest me. I have to face justice just like this man I ran over would if he had done the same to me. <laughs> well, we've actually been following him. He, he's, he's baby arm Joe, and he's been using his, his tiny arm to make his penis look bigger, which is a crime <laughs> in, in Mississippi. Is it a crime when a white man does it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a crime for everybody. This really isn't a race thing. I know you wanted to wanted to he's feel ju- he's tricking women. All right. Well, in that case, I guess I'll go home scot free. <laughs> <laughs> Time to start my car back up. <laughs> Thank you, Stavros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way back to my house. <laughs> Still thinking about racism here in the South. And, and that's what it sounds. This is the sound of fall. <laughs> the horses. The whore, the wild <laughs> Mississippi horses. Of, 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 and here comes the sheriff on his horse next to my Corvette. <laughs> How you doing there, Atticus? Very good. I'm glad I make so much money as a lawyer to be able to afford such a nice race car here in the South. Mm. Looks very good. It's the nice, the finest race car in the South. What year is this again? It's 1950. I, I, I think it's, Corvette it's sometime in the somewhere between 1920 and 1955. <laughs> and it was the first year of the. It was Corvette. the first. 1927, the first year of the Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the first one as the least racist lawyer in the South, <laughs> but still a racist from the second. But book. still a racist. If you don't don't forget, I just ran over a black man and killed him. And the police let me go because he had committed a different crime, and I demanded justice for myself. But now I'm second guessing it, and now I'm I'm home. That's cool. And here's Thanks me for letting me know. Walking because... up the steps to my, <laughs> and I'm opening the door, <laughs> and then here's my 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 child, my androgynous daughter, Sport. Sport. Hi, Dan. What was? What is that? A, your penis? It's what, my pussy. Why do you make a spring noise? I don't. <laughs> I I don't know either, Dan. You'll have to help me. I'm blind, as you remember from the movie. I think. <laughs> I don't think that's I don't think true. you were blind. Uh, anyway, so you were just asking me how court was today. How was court, Dad? Bad. <laughs> We had to, the the question of whether you're allowed to teach evolution in schools came up and. Uh, I think um, I think there was me and twelve other jurors, and we were angry. <laughs> and one of them, <laughs> there was a monkey. There was a monkey in the courtroom. There's the the monkey's right here, Dad. 
Ah, yes, the monkeys at our house. <laughs> That's why we, I can hear them. Sometimes I forget as a blind man <laughs> because I've been blinded by the injustice of mm -hmm. the racial South. <laughs> Where, whether the sounds are, are <laughs> what their context is, whether they're part of a narrative flashback or happening in the moment as I'm reciting mm -hmm. the details of the story. You, you have to understand. Anyways, uh, yeah, there was a kid, he's on trial for stabbing somebody, and there's a, there's one guy who's Italian, so he's from the slums, and he knows how a switch, right. switchblade works. That's and, right. And then the guy who does Lord. the voice of... <laughs> I'm Scout. <laughs> that's my daughter, Scout, Adam. <laughs> oh, sorry. Adam, how did you get here? Yeah. Oh, I'm in the, the Mockingbird. You know, I'm actually, the Mockingbird. It, it sounds less like Marge and more like Jared from Super Jail. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> it sounds almost exactly oh, like Jared. Really? My from... voice is fluid. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, and then so what, where are we? In the heat of the night? What is this again? So there was, a Puerto Rican kid stabbed someone or There was something? a weird boy named Boop uh, Riley. That's right. That's right. And the, 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 guy that, the guy that does the voice of Winnie the Pooh says that he was probably innocent. <laughs> that's uh -huh. right. All right. Well, anyways, on the way home, I ran over this black guy uh, who was... Oh, man. And he had all these pieces of a shift robe in his pockets. Mm. And, you know, I thought maybe he stole the shift robe. Apparently, this woman, uh, a bitch, if you will, <laughs> asked him to bust it up for her. <laughs> and he was fucking her or something. And I don't know. If, <laughs> That's a really, really interesting day, Dan. And then, uh, now, wait, now I'm remembering it is... Uh, the husband came home oh. and saw the, the baby arm Joe f uh, f finger f putting his baby his arm. Baby, the whole baby arm went in the guy's mm -hmm. wife's pussy. Into the wife's pussy. You know, honestly, <laughs> I, I can't fucking remember or something. But, but the cops let you off? I know. Sh maybe you should, maybe as my son, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> You should lecture me on why I should really press to be charged or something. Dad, you always taught us to do the right thing. You're right. I should do the right thing. You kids go hang out with that retard across the street. I'm yeah. going to go back to the courthouse and demand to be thrown in jail. Oh, the retard boop, Riley. And I'm going to be the, oh, I'm going to be the man that decides to prosecute himself for racism in the South. Wow. And I'm the mockingbird. <laughs> to suck the mockingbird. <laughs> Wait, you said there's a second book? Yeah, Didn't to kill, go kill a watchman. Go kill a watchman. But it came out like... Gentlemen, we're in the middle of a play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, yeah, right, sorry. Right. Well, actors, don't you understand <clears throat> that? Well, you have to always stay in the drama. You never stop. I'm sorry. Go to court, Dad. And then I'm in... I'm... Bye, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Take my Corvette to court. <laughs> And here I am at the courthouse. Uh, uh, drift into the courthouse. <laughs> and I'm... Bam! <laughs> doors open. Judge, ah, Atticus Finch, the best fucking... <laughs> <laughs> The, the biggest best. swinging cock in the whole the court. best motherfucking lawyer we've ever seen <laughs> in the South. One of the fucking greatest. What, mm -hmm. what, what do you want? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what the hell's going on? I ran over some colored guy on the way home. I want to be put to death for it. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? I'm charging myself, but you're not the DA. God. Yes, I am. I'm the DA, but I'm also, that's, I'm so good at the law that I'm both. I did both, <laughs> Your Honor. And we're going to have a whole trial where I argue. I do both sides. And Against it's, yourself? And it's about white fragility. It's because black people are done talking to white people about race. They're mm. done. Captain They're simply Picard? Done. It's our job. Is that you? Yes. <laughs> Yes. I was thinking I was on my way home and I thought to myself, what if Dado was black? Would we be okay having him as a slave? A robot slave? He, he kind of is one, though. And That's it, what I'm getting at. Race, the final frontier. <laughs> These are the voyages of my Toyota Prius to Portland, Oregon to participate in the... Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, really, I'm just going to see if I can get some tent pussy. I'm trying to get tent stinky I'm tr- tent I'm pussy. I'm trying to get just disgusting <laughs> tent pussy. <laughs> because I, I went to Bonnaroo when I was 15 and struck out. <laughs> And now I can never get it out of my mind. The I idea can't of live that down. Just getting some nasty dead head <laughs> pussy. <laughs> okay, Atticus, we'll let you have your trial. <laughs> if only there was some kind of sound effects going on to make this world more livable. For... Ah. What it is, ho, oh, what's, what's up? up? <laughs> can I... Just get some cut <laughs> here in the courthouse. <laughs> cut you up like you ain't been cut. <laughs> Teach your ass how to really catch a nut. <laughs> Give me your number and I'll call. <laughs> While I'm in there, turn down your walls. You can suck on my balls. <laughs> I'll follow that ass to the mall. <laughs> Everybody, everybody, everybody in the neighborhood, everybody. Meanwhile, everybody in the neighborhood think I'm scary. Uh, I don't think so. Boop. Riley. Boop. They call me Boo because they think I'm scary, but I'm actually just a um, retarded. <laughs> They think I. They think I kill people. Can I see your big retard penis? That's the thing. Is the surprise twist at the end is that I was the one that raped a woman. Oh, oh no! And they blamed it on a black guy. Oh. I turned out to be the secret villain at the end. That's what Go Catch a Watchman's about. <laughs> That's what Go Catch. Go catch the real the rapist in the movie. Is that what is that how to kill Mockingbird ends the uh, return of abs- the raping? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Robert Duvall actually plays Boo Radley. Did you know that? In the movie? That's like one of his first roles. Oh wow, I didn't yeah. realize. He's like, You gotta you gotta play the retard slow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play the retard mentally slow. You gotta come in, think about a real. The character has got a real slow mind. <laughs> the way he thinks about things are real slow down. That's him teaching his seminar on playing a retard. <laughs> on acting, yeah. That Sean Penn, yeah, <laughs> attended, yeah. If I wanted to play a retard like you did, and that, yeah, it was probably big <laughs> on the set of colors. Can you tell me how to play a retard? So I, I can't do Sean Penn at all. I can do Chris Penn. Okay. It's me, Chris Penn, standing in for my brother, Sean. I'm Chris Penn. I'm Chris Penn, and I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm Sean Penn. I'm Chris Penn from uh, a ra- uh, Corky Romano, and I'm gay secretly. And I'm gay That's secretly. the joke. Yeah, and he can't read, right? Oh, yeah, he can't read. He's oh, man, when he ordered his ice cream. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Like, yeah, look at that. Look at that rocky road. <laughs> yeah. They're like, sir, we have three flavors. And they're like, uh, we don't have that. And then the, it just pans out, and it's just vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> Let me get a uh, pistachio. Yeah, he yeah, asked for pistachio. <laughs> Shouts out to Corky Romano. A great movie. Yeah, it's very funny. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you're about to witness a trial never before seen in the state of Tex- Texarkana. Texississippi. Tex, uh, Texadelphia. Here in the southern city of Philadelphia. It was a gusty wind. We've let sand in. There's sand, there's a sandstorm in the trial, and we're all entering a, a, a biblical journey through the Baja. I took mescaline before the trial <laughs> to, thir- to thoroughly dissociate so that I could play the role of both prosecutor <laughs> and counsel for the defense. Uh, no one has ever attempted the- this before, but I'm putting myself on trial for racism because it's more important that we show internal accountability, especially while on drugs. <laughs> Then it is for us to lecture others, because societal change only comes through the man directed outwards. And what I did, and I admit to it, objection, Your Honor, I, I, I don't want to admit to it. Uh, but mm, sustain. I don't, yeah, who's the judge, who's playing the judge? Uh, uh, I'm the judge. Anyways, our first witness is the retard from across the street. <laughs> You may you may approach the bench, or the 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 chair, the stand, the stand. Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's what it's called. Uh, thank you. Um, I 
Can I ask you a question, Judge? No, that you, that you're the lawyer. Ask you the question. But I just have a question, real quick. Okay, real yes, quick. Make go it quick. Ahead. I'm the other judge. Yeah, we got two judges it's here. A two judge situation. Two, there's there's one attorney and two judges. It's 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 bizarre court. We yes. use it's, it's very good. It's a Napoleonic code in this state. We have one straight judge am and I, one gay and judge. And I am the gay one. Am I allowed to go to the bathroom in the seat? No. No, you may not. Son. You can use Judge in, Adams' mouth. In that, in that case, I request a mistrial. <laughs> you're not the lawyer, boy. I've already gone to the bathroom in the seat. <laughs> Atticus, your, 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 your witness is being retarded right now. <laughs> yeah. we, objection from the judge. The witness right. I'm is objecting being retarded. To, your Honor, at least allow me to cross-examine him first. You haven't examined ahead, him. Mr. Yeah. Picard. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Radley, can I call you Boo? <laughs> Do you mind if I call you Boo? Yeah. Oh, you're asking me? Yeah. Yes. I, I, yeah, everybody calls me that. And why do they call you Boo? And he looks, you know, mm-hmm. towards mm-hmm. the jury, eye, eyebrow raised. Uh, because I'm uh, scary, because I'm retarded. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. And is there anyone in this courtroom that's scary to you? Uh, yeah. Do you mind pointing them out for us? And then Boo Radley pointed at the black guy. <gasps> who isn't oh. on trial, who was just there. Oh, my heaven. For some reason, even though he had been run over by Atticus Finch. <laughs> the know. dead guy. He's, he he was been. dead. By and why does he scare you? Because he's a ghost? Whoa. Oh. And and maybe that's the lesson we can all learn mm. is that it's not black people that scare us but ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> and we often because they're dark we think that you know that they come from ghost town. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> my, rest, my case. Uh, really you don't want to uh we you don't. Are you sure you don't want to ask any more questions or present any more witnesses <laughs> in this trial you demanded of yourself? Oh, it's the it's the British judge. It's, Please join us. It's me, the British judge. <laughs> There's he, now three judges. He can t- you can tell he's British and it's wearing a wig. There's a secret clause hidden in the Constitution that says if a man ever goes on trial for himself that. British law supersedes <laughs> uh, American law, and it's our way of sneaking back in after whoa, the revolution. Atticus, what have you done? Because we knew that racism in America's attempt that's the real. to dismantle it would always bring down, mm-hmm. and that's why we intentionally lost the Revolutionary War, because baked in to uh, the American genesis was <laughs> an inherent contradiction of equality while upholding slavery. And uh, something along and those lines. Then, I, but we're back, is the point. And now we're British. <laughs> wow. It's the 60s or 50s and or 40s. The, it's, that's the or year of, it's the year of the Corvette. Is and, what we, and now we're back. And I have my own Corvette. <laughs> And I'm gonna drive it. And, I just, and I'm gay. <laughs> oh no! And oh, I'm no. <laughs> I'm going to have. <laughs> and, oh, <no. laughs> and one more thing. I'm. <laughs> And by the way, also, I forgot to mention, I, I'm gay. Oh, and the surprise. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Fish, what have you done? <laughs> when, when the British are back and this time we're gay. <laughs> we're going to have sex with we're all of you guys. To, we're going to have gay sex. <laughs> Bring about 400 years of gay British rule <laughs> like you've never seen. <laughs> and I, by the way, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Finch, do you... <laughs> 
and counselor. Wow, this this has been the countdown players present. Uh, we're mm. fucking the, the birds. But perhaps. <laughs> the, the, fuck the birds. If you enjoyed tonight's presentation of the countdown players, <laughs> NPR broadcast of To Kill a Mockingbird from Memory, join us next week for Glenn Garrett and Ross. <laughs> <laughs>